Sawalat Tanina Highway is considered by passengers in the Upper West Region and the Northern Regions as the most dangerous road in the Upper West Region, not because it's not motorable, but due to the incessant attacks from armed robbers. Passengers plying the route after 7 p.m. are made to wait several hours by the police before they're escorted by the police force to safety. Joy News' Upper West Regional correspondent visited the community and joins us via phone. Rafiq, good morning. What have you been gathering from the passengers and residents? Um, you know, uh, uh, armed robbery uh, has been on in this particular vicinity, uh, talking about the solar uh, War Highway, which is about 100 miles, and uh, the complaint has always been that uh, it's not easy uh, to come into the Upper West Region from the Northern Corridor. And so, when you are coming from these areas, uh, especially after 7 p.m., you have to wait somewhere around Sola uh, after the toll bridge, and then and wait for the police uh, to come and escort you. And so, what the passengers are saying that. They have delayed too long. They have been delayed too long at that particular place. Assume that I'm going to the Upper West Region. I get to uh, Sola or that checkpoint at 7 p.m. I have to wait up to about 11 p.m. or 12 uh, a.m. before I'm escorted uh, to New Orleans or Puyenta uh, before I, uh, I can reach my, my home. And so the passengers are not really happy with the situation. And they think that the police are pampering their, their arm robbers to their discomfort. They are saying that because they, you know where the armed robbery uh, 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 takes place, and yet the police are failing to do it. But uh, speaking to the, uh, the police command in the Upper West Region, uh, ACP, Peter Ndikuri and Aburu, he said uh, that they are not pampering the armed robbers. But what they are thinking is that they don't have the enough, uh, enough personnel uh, to deal uh, with the situation. He hopes that they could have, uh, every 30, 40 minutes, uh, they could have been able to what, to escort them uh, to safety, but this is that is not uh, really uh, happening. But he's saying that uh, policing is a said responsibility, and you want community members uh, in those communities to volunteer uh, information for them to arrest uh, these armed robbers. Because he's saying that what is actually happening is that any time that they plan, the armed robbers also what also uh, counter uh, their planning uh, because they have been able to. You can see several police barriers and also police checkpoints at that particular place, hundred kilometers stretch. And then, yet, they are, they are not able to arrest these armed robbers. But uh, I must also admit that the past five, six months, there have not been uh, armed robbery uh, seen in that particular uh, area. But what the people are now saying is that it's like uh, they are delaying too long uh, at the place, which is what, uh, which is uh, when they are left under the vagaries of the, uh, of the cold weather and which is infected with mosquitoes. Have the police dis been describing any sort of long-term solution to this inconvenience? Uh, speaking to the uh, the second in command in the Upper West Region, uh, ACP Peter and Dekuri, he said that their long-term plan uh, is to have more men. Uh, could you the place or that particular route is not in the Upper West Region. From Sola up to Tuna and up to New Orleans, the Upper West Park, uh, from New Orleans, uh, the valley, the, that divides the Upper West from the Northern Region. That particular place is for the Northern Region. But here's the case. It's the Upper West Police, it's the Upper West uh, people, they use that, they apply that route much. And so because of this, a lot of pressure on the Upper West Police uh, to protect the people from that particular area. And so they are saying that they don't have enough, enough personnel. And then in the long-term solution, what governments or the interior ministry or the IGP need to do uh, is to give them more men uh, to patrol that particular place. But what they are also calling on is that to have neighborhood wards in the communities that are lying along the route uh, so that they will be able to expose these criminals and then so that they will be able to smoke them out of their hidden homes. Tell us about these checkpoints. How many are they and how widely spread are they across the highway? Um, I can tell you that uh, you can count as many as uh, four barriers and also not checkpoints you can get as many as six. Uh, you know, let me... It could be about a dozen uh, in that particular area. Some are in mufti, some are uniform. But here's the case: they have not been able to arrest at this situation. The passengers are saying that they are staying too long at that particular place. Three, four hours at that particular location is not good enough uh, for them because they are not in the best 
uh, of shapes. Uh, they are not in the best of conditions when they are lying uh, in these mosquito infested areas. Regional correspondent Rafiq Salam there. Thank you very much for that.